Good morning guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things and we are just doing a quick little morning reseller vlog as I um, start my day. And I just figured I'd take you guys along. I'm sorry, I have no makeup on yet. <laughs> I have no ring light right now. I am out in my back, on my back deck because the kids are inside eating and I don't want them to jump in. So stay tuned. <laughs> welcome back guys i hope everyone is doing good um i am actually just getting my morning orders together actually i just went down and grabbed them out of their locations in the basement um i'm gonna make sure that the packaging i brought up for each one is right so let me show you what sold nothing special earth shattering but we've got a super mario yoshi um when I actually looked up in my spreadsheet where this one was, I calculated the number of days and I've had that for 356 days. Um, not a great buy. <laughs> Little Mario figures. I mean, I got them for a buck. Um, it sold for, I think, eight, but nope, nope, I wouldn't do that again. And I am just gonna pack this in a bubble mailer, should be good. The second thing, arm already hurts. I'm so out of shape. My gosh. The second thing that sold is um, the Legendary Gangsters 5 movie collection. Um, this is pre-owned. This was given to me by a friend. And I, want, I think this sold for $12.99. So I got it for free. So decent profit. This is not the size of a normal DVD. So I'm actually going to use one of my big bubble mailers, which and then I'll have to tape it down just because I don't want it moving around in the bag. And then last is, I got this at that rummage sale, the Scooby-Doo aluminum pan from, according to a, the back, 1999. Um, it has collected a little dust, so I'm actually gonna go in with like a wet paper towel and just clean that out. And it's a little heavy. So I'm gonna put this in a priority mail, priority mailbox, um, which I think should fit nicely. It's kinda like it was made for that. So um, I have to get all that done and packed up before I take the kids to summer camp. They are eating breakfast right now. Um, I think they're both dressed. I don't know, I should check on Trevor because he tends to Try to wear the same clothes every day if I don't force him <laughs> to change. Um, summer days, I don't know, summer days. So I am gonna drop this stuff off. I am um, headed out on another work trip tomorrow, Tuesday through Friday. Um, so my husband's gonna be home with the kids. So I'm just trying to make sure I have everything, you know, done before I go out of town. Um, my store on time away mode, but still allowing sales and enough listings scheduled throughout the week. And that is what I haven't done yet. So maybe during my lunch hour or this evening, I'll be able to do that. I don't know. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm the worst at this. <laughs> All right. I got everything packed up. The uh, Scooby-Doo did not quite fit in that priority mailbox, but it was not a flat rate box, which meant I could um, maneuver it a bit, but I'm not totally comfortable with how I just sent that out. <sighs> I don't know, I was in a rush. <laughs> and I just, I should have found another box or I don't know. Now I have like, I think I sent it wrong, regret. Anyhow, um, all right. So the kids are off to camp. The items are headed to the post office. My husband actually drove them this morning. I didn't have to, which was super nice. Um, I have to get to work, um, but I haven't changed yet. I'm still in my pajamas or what I slept in last night, which was a t-shirt and sweats. <laughs> so I'm going to change, put some makeup on real quick, and then I have to get to work. And I just had a thought and I haven't tried this. So I, almost every other week at this point, I'm going out of town for the majority of a week, which means I put my store on time away mode. I do still allow sales. My sales have definitely dropped. Um, 
and I was trying to think of a way to potentially keep my sales up while I'm away. And I thought about would it make sense to run a sale while I'm out of town? But then the more I thought about it, I was like, would that just piss people off if they get this great deal in something, but then it's not gonna ship for four days? And I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? I'm not really sure. Um, obviously I don't want to like upset people and I don't know if I'm running a sale, if they're going to get any sort of, if they're just going to see the sale price and buy, or if they're going to notice that the shipping is going to be delayed, or maybe I start the sale. I schedule the sale to start like two days out from me getting back to Buffalo. I don't know. Just a thought. The random reselling things that go through my head on a daily basis. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's where we're at and only three sales this weekend. Mm. I'm not, I, you know, I talked to all of you about it. I'm not beating myself up over this anymore because, um, I am working full time. I do have a full time income and right now eBay is just this really super sweet side hustle that's bringing me in some extra money. But, I don't know, I'll be back, I'll be back. Uh, maybe I'll put makeup on, then I'll be prettier. Okay, um, so, I, I mean, I don't really look that much better. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right, so everything has headed off to the post office. Um, I will probably put my store on time away mode early this evening, just so that I can pack, cause I'm leaving at like 6 a.m. tomorrow, um, just so I can pack anything that comes in up tonight. I don't wanna have to worry about packing anything and dropping it off at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow, cause that's just, it's not that fun. So I'm gonna do that, put my store on time away mode. I will still allow sales. I still haven't decided on whether or not to try a sale, maybe on the last couple of days. That I'm out of town. I'm. It's time to get to work. I have to actually go work now because um, it is. Yeah, it's after eight. It's after eight. It's time. Um, but really quick, I wanted to show you guys. A while back, I shared a video. I'll actually post it. Um, Matthew and I went to a rummage sale at our local church, and they had a basket raffle which of course I entered. I always enter basket raffles and I don't know guys, I'm like really lucky <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. I win basket raffles all the time. We didn't have basket raffles when I lived in Las Vegas. So this whole thing is new to me and I love the basket raffle. I just won one on Saturday at one of Michael's shows. It was filled with like matchbox cars and all kinds of like Trevor was so excited. But I wanted to show you the basket that I won. I finally picked it up from the rummage sale. Um, so it's, it's a, it looked much nicer when I initially pulled it out, but I wanted to show you what was in there because it's kind of cool. There, are, These are soap flowers. Um, so they're actually made of soap. Like if I ever have people over, which I never do, these would probably look nice in the bathroom. I don't know. I mean, I've got a Flamingo's little like cooler, um, which would probably fit seltzers. Pretty nice. Maybe I'll take this on my trip and stop for some seltzers on my way there. I got this, which I think is like a jewelry holder. Um, and it's like on a hanger. I'll be honest. I just don't think I would use this. Um, it's just not my style. So I might actually look into selling this on eBay. I don't know. Um, I got this bag that it came in, which is Victoria's Secret. Um, so I think you can see it. So it's a Victoria's Secret bag and inside has a little, hi Michael, a little matching like bag. So this is cute. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I would use it. And then the last thing that was in there um, is this Kate Spade bag, which I was like, holy cow. This is really cute. I would never, the inside is cute. I would never use this. It's just not my style. Um, 
So I don't know, should I look it up and sell it? I don't know what to do. Should I give it to one of you? I don't know. I don't know what to do with the Kate Spade bag. I have no idea like if these are of value or not. It is very cute. It's just not something I would use. But I was, you know, I was super excited. Like how nice to win that in the little basket raffle. Um, and then this was just not in my grab in my basket raffle win, but I got this with my last order of Color Street. And it's just such a cute little makeup bag. It's just canvas. So that's that. I am going to get to work because I have a lot of stuff to do before I go out of town tomorrow. Um, because I think I'll be up there with no service again. Which is hard. Um, it is hard not being able to get online. It is a pain in the butt. So like for me, I've got to have everything scheduled and ready to go before I leave, like all my social media posts for work and all of that. So I'm gonna get to work. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. I hope you had an awesome weekend. And um, I'm gonna leave you with a quick video of Michael from last Thursday playing for a record crowd at an event called Thursdays on the Water. And there was thousands of people there. My kid played for thousands of people, which is so crazy. Holy cow, it was awesome. So I um, I will share a quick video of that. And you guys all have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.